Today, I'm gonna be sharing with you what I do in a day with my toddler, but as well, getting back on track, a reset, a mental health reset. My mental health has not been great because of the PCS move, all that jazz. It's just moving in general and all that kind of stuff. Also, I'm gonna be sharing, this is gonna be part of the PCS series, and I'm gonna be showing you guys the loan locker today. So we're gonna go to the loan locker. I have to go to the BX and the commissary to like get dinner and different things. I would. I wish we got like kept our lamp because it's so dark in here in the evening and that one lamp, like our stand lamp that was over here, made such a huge difference. I was going like batty last night. I was like, oh my God, it's so dark in here. And not only that, like it's getting darker and darker each day because we're going into fall and then into winter. So I don't think the BX has any lights or anything like that, but even if it's something small, that would make a huge difference for me. So we're gonna do that. We're gonna go to the loan locker. Uh, we're gonna go on a walk and just do my daily things. So let's go and get on with it. <laughs> So as you saw, I just went to Flyers and I got me a Tezo iced, it's like the sweetest sweet orange tea. And then I got like a burrito cause my stomach has been hurting me so bad. All night last night I was having stomach issues. I think it's like overall like with the stress of everything and like I was fully letting go TMI. I still don't feel relieved and I think it's just like, there's just so much going on at once and like i'm happy like this stuff is out but i think i need like a couple days to like process and stuff but anyway i'm gonna bring leo to the park now and stay there for about 45 minutes to an hour and hopefully he'll be okay with going to the one locker after this after the park i want to burn some energy for him before he takes a nap and it's a beautiful day the past three days have been so beautiful out it's so nice and it's like not humid or like disgustingly hot or like raining it's been rain like all season july and august it's been raining so it's so nice to have nice days so anyway i'll stop rambling Okay, so it's almost 10 o'clock. Already this postpartum hair growth is curling. <laughs> if I don't put a headband back, it's crazy, guys, in the humidity. I came back home. We went to the park for about 20 minutes. I was gonna stay for an hour, but Devin, my husband, was calling maintenance. We're calling maintenance because we need new blinds in the bedroom. They're completely busted. And there's a leak on our balcony. Like, there's a leak happening on our ceiling. We had a leak in the house, if you could see the outline of this huge square. The day I had an emergency leave, my grandpa was transitioning and at the same time, our ceiling was leaking. They tore it apart. It was one of the worst days of my life. Now there's a leak outside. So I'm like, what are the people upstairs doing? It might not even have anything related to do with them. It's like, how's there a leak outside on the balcony? Anyway, now I'm gonna wait for them and Leo's gonna play outside his pen. Okay, so this is the situation that we have this twin bed for Leo. <laughs> the, the comforter doesn't fit on the bed, so it's like, I make the bed, but this is what it looks like. The PCSing life. But yeah, I like put double sheets on the bed. I put double sheets on the bed because we were like completely grossed out. I'm just like, oh my god, it's just gross. I have the mattress cover on my end because it's the bigger and two sheets and then two sheets on the other one and i might buy another mattress cover just because i'm so skewed out it looks like we have a king size bed but it's like devin's feet were hanging off and then i put all my plants here and i'll keep them until i no longer can keep them till the end leo is down for his nap it's about 11 almost 11 30 now he went down around 11. i just cleaned up the areas a little bit and just like making it a little cozy as cozy as i can i'm just adjusting to my new space there's a plane going by 
so there's a couple things I'm going to show you that I just took out of the closet. I got some Halloween decor. I know it's so early right now, but I usually decorate for Halloween in September. I'm going to do a couple things. I have some decorations. I'm going to sage the house because it has had quite a few people in the house. I haven't saged it in a while and sage myself. I want to, I would like to do a meditation. I have to make a couple of appointments and what else? I have this self workbook that I want to start. I want to do that as well. I like ease myself into like a reset. I have these nails that I would like to put on, something for myself to like feel better. And I've been waiting to put them on because of all the packing. And I was like, they're probably gonna like break off and stuff. That is my self care for today. I feel that I've really been so busy that I haven't really been able to take care of like my mental health. I would like to go back to therapy if I can make an appointment today for that i'll update you on that i just really need to like vent to someone i don't always have friends there a lot of my family and friends are busy i have my parents i talk to them all the time but i just need someone like to vent to about just normal things and daily life sorry there's a, another plane going by sunday is an air show they did not stop every day so this is the self-help workbook that I have. It's by Shania Ali. It's a life-changing guide to build self-esteem, recognize your worth, and find genuine happiness. And I had this on my bookshelf. I started it a while ago, but it wasn't really speaking to me. I saw it on my bookshelf, and I was like, wow, that really speaks to me with what I'm going through right now. So then I have Palo Santo here that I'm going to use as well. My sage. These are the other nails that I'm going to do. Here's, this is my to-do list workbook, and this really helps me to stay on track throughout the day. These are some of the decorations. I have this really nice candle that I bought a few years ago, and it's a eucalyptus soy candle. So I have that on the table. And then I got this to put like around, I think the doorway maybe. We'll see. I got two of them. I got this for Leo, so he could have a little balloon. Happy Halloween sign. The skeleton that is gonna go right here. Just little decorations, nothing crazy because again, we're PCSing. And just these two things. Devin just brought in our new TV. <laughs> It's kind of lame. I mean, it's totally lame compared to what I normally do, but it's something, I don't know.
So this meditation that I did, I do it on Insight Timer. Insight Timer is my favorite meditation app. I've been using it for years and I've found this 10 minute guided meditation by Tim Green, Tim Hatherly Green, and it's take a break, take a breath. It's only 10 minutes. So if you're a mom and you need something quicker than like a 20 minute meditation this is a really good meditation and i like this it's like a square meditation and you do it on a four count so you breathe two three four up the square hold across the square breathe out down the square then hold and then you start it all over again and that's about a five minute meditation there's about like two to three minutes he's introducing introducing what the meditation is about but it's designed specifically if you're highly stressed and busy like the workplace but really for anyone and it's honestly my favorite one to really like focus my mind on something and breathing because when you have meditation it's when you're focusing on one specific thing running is a form of meditation there's all different forms of meditation it doesn't necessarily have to be you sitting down meditating. I really like this. It is active rest, targeting different parts of your brain versus when you're like working or like let's say being busy and a stay-at-home mom. This is gonna tap into your creativity areas of your brain, your empathies area, and it's just really good to bring that oxygen back to your body and to your brain, right? When we're focusing on inhaling and exhaling. Our breath is so like precious. Without it, we couldn't be alive. So anyway, so that is really good for stress and anxiety. If you want me to link it down below, just comment and I'll link it down. But if nobody wants it, I'm not gonna like go out of my way to link it in the description box or the comment. But yeah, it's one of my favorite meditations for active rest. It's only 10 minutes long. I'm sorry guys, this is like the worst mental health video when there's an air show happening. So meditation is one of the tools I use for my spiritual practice. And then another tool I like to use is essential oils. I, uh, I chose energy today. This is a newer oil to me. And I just did a little aromatherapy tent and focused on my breath. And then I either journal or do a, a workbook. As a mom, writing things down is really helpful of like my day and for me to stay on task. So that's part of my self, like my self, um, self work and working on myself as well as like getting appointments done, right? It could just be simple things like that. You might not think like making appointments is self care, but it is because it's getting those appointments done. It's not in your mind and it's taking care of what you need to take care of. That is part of self care. It's not always you know, writing in a journal or doing that. Maybe it's meal prepping. Maybe it's drinking more water, taking your vitamins. It could be anything. And these are just tools to help you, but these are tools that help me. So it might be different for you. But with my mental health, this is what really helps me. Writing down on a piece of paper really helps me. It's really tangible for me versus like making notes on the phone. I like to write it. I like to check it off. I'll make these little squares so that I could check it off each time I do something. That is a little bit of a self-care routine. Okay, it's three o'clock now. Leo took a three hour nap, which is amazing for me. And we haven't gone to the loan locker yet because he's eating lunch, then we're gonna go to the loan locker. I'm gonna see if Devin's coming home. If we go together, just make it easier. To be continued. And there's my decorations. <clears throat> my lame Halloween decorations. <laughs> I'm so sad. Okay, so this is the loan locker. We got the light. So this is our loan locker. Got a rice cooker, coffee maker, tea, toaster, pans. Got some toys. You got play pens, AC unit, bass bin, and then you have to like sign it out here. Right, we got more pans in there. So this is like stuff, like all people donate and stuff. So yeah, I mean they have blankets and towels, but I personally wouldn't use that. Small 
coolest TV in the planet. This is our new life. The miniest TV. The smallest couch. How do you like our new couch and TV?